Last week I said I wasn't setting any new uh, New Year's resolutions or goals or anything like that. But there is actually one thing I'm trying this year. So, um, back when I was a teenager, um, 30 years ago, we used to listen to a lot of music and we actually used to go to record shops and we would buy music on vinyl records. We'd buy tapes, make tapes make tapes um, and then when CDs came along we we bought CDs so we found a, a, an artist we liked or an album we liked and we'd buy that music and then you'd have it as a physical thing forever and then we moved into you know iPods um, online music and that sort of thing and that was that was great because then you could listen to music buy it instantly and download it and you'd have that slightly ephemeral album but even though it was just ones and zeros on a hard drive or either locally or in the cloud or on a server somewhere or whatever it still felt like you owned it and now we've moved into subscription services for music which i don't understand um and some years ago so we got this hi-fi <coughs> which again is it's like 20 years old this is good you buy good hi-fi it lasts right um, so a good sound has an effect on you emotionally, like, anyway. I struggled, I don't like subscription services, I don't like paying every month, although we've kind of got used to it with paying for TV and film and blah 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 and so on. Um, but it, it gets very, very expensive. But with the good deals of the new year, I thought I would try. I will try to understand streaming music, its benefits, its uses, whether it's a good thing or not. I'm already discovering that it helps discovering new music. So I genuinely don't understand streaming music. I'm very cynical about it. I think it's great for the people that are selling the music, they can keep control of it, they can keep you paying a monthly subscription, and as soon as you stop paying, it's gone. But for me, how do I remember what albums I've bought? I look at the thing and I pick one out, I go, oh, I forgot about this, and I play it. How does that work with streaming music? I don't understand it, it's new to me. I'm gonna try it, I'm going to learn. Will I feel locked into a particular subscription service? Will I feel free to chop and change? Will I feel like I'm losing everything if I stop subscribing? I don't know, anyway. The only negative so far is cultivating a very bad habit in searching eBay for second-hand hi-fi separates. Um, okay, there's a job we've got to do today, which I don't really want to do, but we better do it now because it's January. Um, I have a bird box. It's attached to a Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi has a camera and a, um, an infrared, a, a PIR sensor inside the bird box. And when the birds nest in there, it takes a photo and puts it on Twitter. It's very lovely. But um, in this last season, in 2021, there was a nest uh, and there were lots of chicks and they all died. Um, I've no idea why. Obviously, we don't go anywhere near it. We don't touch it. We just let it run. We've had many years of successful um, nests and chicks. But for some reason, they all died this year. So what do I need to do? Well, I need to open it all up clear it all out including all those dead chicks so this might be a little bit hard to watch um and uh give it a service and set it all back up again because the blue tits will start looking again in february um for a place to nest so we better get it ready She wanna know me, I stay low-key, I'll cast no breaks, baby, let them hold sleep. Body on ten, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. Do they smell bad or is that just my imagination? I'm not close enough to it. Oh wow. I'm oh, my little skeleton. These spiders have been going hardcore in here, look. Yeah, there's not a big, big spider in there, is there? Look how tough this is. My god. They always make a heck of a... Really? 
a heck of a good nest. It's so warm and thick and yeah. While I've taken this apart, now is a good time to check that all the electronics and the pine stuff still actually work. Let's plug it in. Doesn't look like it's working properly, so I'll check all the connections. I can remote into it because obviously this is a little pie, it's a computer, it hasn't got a monitor, keyboard, mouse and stuff. So I'll clear its disk space, check all the cables, see what's going on. Having sensitive electronics outside, cables squished through windows throughout the year, you know, things tend to fail. So this becomes a bit of a boring annual routine but it's probably good for me right so I've always, music's good for you right um, and that's why humans have music is because it has an emotional effect on them um, so I remember that back in the day listening to music used to be good for me it's good for you know it, it's it's relaxing or it, it's it's better than having some rubbish TV on the background or some rubbish YouTube on for the sake of it or some twitch or whatever Hmm. So that's the other reason I'm trying to get back to listening to music again it is because um, I think it'll be good for me. So I've got uh, the Linux that's running on here, running through a terminal here. I just unplugged the the PIR sensors, like sensor wire, and it says motion detected. Um, so that worked. Let's have a look to see if it took a photo. It did. It took a photo. I wonder if it tweeted it. <laughs> it did, look, it tweeted it. <laughs> so that's the, 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 the sensor, the sensor's the birds. That's the camera there, hidden in a little housing, and that's an infrared LED. So that's on all the time. So it lights it up for the camera, but the birds can't, you know, it's not lighting up the birds the whole time, they're in the dark. I know it's all love, everything good, keep the vibes on crush. I know it's all good, good, know it's all love. All right, we've got a big corrosion on the PIR, so that's that's where the problem is. I'll try and clean it up, see if it works. Otherwise, I'm going to need to buy a new one, which of course is going to take a while. So with music, I've written a couple of uh, textbooks, and the amount of time that goes into writing a textbook is huge. And I find it difficult to work in silence, or I just have to have something on in the background. Music is my preference when I'm writing, and the amount of music you buy <laughs> when you're writing a textbook is ridiculous. Yeah, I think the the leg of this component is completely rusted through. These cost about three pounds. I might have one in the garage. I'm going to have a rummage, otherwise. Look, I do. I've actually got one. It's so useful these things for little fun electronics projects. They, you know. And then it costs a few quid, tend to buy two or three at a time. So I can just swap these out. Let's do that and see if that works. It's not detecting nothing. <laughs> oh, it did. Let's check Twitter again. It's posting photos. Everything, everything works. Right, it's all plugged in. I'll give it a test. Gotta use a finger or something. All right then. Job done. Now we need to keep an eye on the Tweety Pie Bird Box on Twitter and wait and see if the birds do what birds and bees do. Fingers crossed this year goes okay. And I can get back to listening to some music and preparing my teaching for tomorrow. How am I gonna teach? How am I going to teach um, the coronary arteries on angiograms online? I normally do it with a 3D TV and lots of physical things and getting your eye in and stuff, but how, do I, how am I going to do it? Angiograms online.